you've come to the zoo recently, you've probably noticed that while our polar bears are very active right now, our brown bears and our black bears are not that active. Uh, which brings up a very good question that we get often, and that is, do bears hibernate? So no bears truly hibernate. Um, they go through a process that's very similar, but it's known as torpor. So hibernation and torpor are both marked by a drop in metabolic rate, it's marked by a drop in body temperature, a lower respiration rate, and just a decreased activity level overall. Hibernation can last for days, up to weeks, um, and it takes a very long time for that animal to come out of, and it sucks up a lot of their reserve energy source. Torpor typically is a daily cycle where they'll come out of it um, so at some point during the day, either to pass waste, to get a drink, um, scavenge for food if it's warm enough, but it doesn't take nearly as long and it does not take as big of a toll on their body to come in and out of torpor. Bears here at the zoo do go through torpor, but it's not quite as deep of a torpor as they would in their native range. And this is because we are providing them with food and calories on a daily basis. So this actually allows us to be able to get eyes on them every single day to make sure that they're not they don't have any injuries, uh, it allows us to get medications in when they need medications, uh, and it allows us to bring them off exhibits so that we can clean their yard and fluff up their beds as well. So both our black bears and our brown bears go through this process. And while our black bears tend to share their bed pretty evenly, this kind of brings up a fun fact about our brown bear boys. Brutus, um, his sole focus during torpor is to have the nice, big, fluffy, you know, pillow top bed, per se. Whereas Buckeye's more food motivated, so he uh, focuses more on his food and then kind of gets whatever bedding's left. So if you ever come here in the winter and they're in torpor, Typically, Brutus has this ginormous bed and Buckeyes, you can barely see it. Um, there is still some there, but it's just a difference of what their priorities are. Brutus is more of a comfort. Uh, Buckeye is more of satiating himself with calories. So at the start of the winter months, bears in their native range would be seeking out a den. They'd be bulking up on food, um, trying to find a place to go into this state of torpor but they still come out when the temperature is a little warmer. They come out to forage for food, they come out to pass waste, they come out to get drinks of water. With changes in our climate and the rising global temperatures, it's actually causing more of these warm days, which makes bears in the na their native ranges more active more often. But food is still scarce, so this actually leads them to look for food in non-traditional ways. Um, so they're coming into conflict with people more often because bears can eat whatever they want. They, they'll eat meat, they'll eat veggies, they'll eat garbage if it's available to them. So they will venture into human areas um, sometimes and get themselves into trouble. The zoo supports a lot of organizations that help to mitigate human wildlife conflict. One of these such organizations is People and Carnivores, and they're focused out west and they really help to educate communities on how to peacefully coexist with their wild neighbors. Winter is a great time of year to come visit the zoo. We have a lot of animals that really enjoy the cold, especially up here in Polar Frontier in North America. So the next time you swing by, make sure to come on up, check out Brutus and Buckeye, and just remember, Brutus will be the one in that big bed.